Hey guys, and uh, welcome to Northside Smoke Shop. That is your main man, Funny Guy. And today, we'll be doing a review on the Marlboro Blue Menthols. These are the one cigarette I've never seen anybody smoke. Not at all. I didn't even know that they made a blue menthol, Marlboro. I thought it was just, I thought they were lights, but apparently I grab, I meant to grab lights, Marlboro lights, not light menthols, but oh well, never had, never had these before either, so I guess we'll be giving these a pack, and uh, I haven't really, hang on, now, I want to give a shout out to everybody on the, uh, give a shout out to everybody on the channel. I want to give a shout out to everybody on the channel because uh, without y'all, like I said in the last video, we wouldn't make any videos if y'all didn't subscribe to us. But these are, uh, get back to the nitty gritty. Let's see here. Uh, I see who they make. The, who make, yeah, Philip Morris, as usual. Philip Morris or, uh, I forgot, guys. Philip Morris or uh, something. Some other company or the two big cigarette brand names right about now. And if y'all didn't know, they actually had their own brand of cigarette called Philip Morris. They had a cigarette named after that. I watched an old cigarette I had the other day. Oh, I already packed those. But um, no, it's but I've never seen this. It says around there that uh, interpret means over nothing about this cigarette packaging or color should be interpreted to mean safer. So it says around a little cellophane thing around here which I've never seen that I guess that's a big issue apparently but let's get these bitches and open let's see ya. oh shit I don't know these things were like 505 with the tax so that's like 540 they're kind of expensive but that's Marlboro for you oh yes sir I have this package in a 10 out of 10. They're just like the uh, camel uh, blank canvas. They got that special colored cellophane. That's really cool. So this packaging is a 10 out of 10. All the way. Let's see if I can get a good thumbnail. Right there. There we go. Now that other video just got me making a dumb face. So, uh, But I got a unicorn to edit it. Because I don't know. I can just make videos and upload them. It took him forever to show me how to upload them. So... Either way, I'll get him to make that a thumbnail. That's why I'm always holding him like that. Make another thumbnail. But, uh, yep, these are blue menthols, the light menthols. I love this package, and I honestly kind of feel bad about opening up the cellophane. But that cellophane, again, it's blue. Oh. They smell like a freaking menthol. But they got a cork filter, which that is kind of funny. But they're like the Palm Oil Blacks. Palm Oil Blacks have a um, have a cork brown cork filter. So uh, I don't know how well I packed these bitches. Packed them good enough. But this thing has a uh, light colored tobacco, which I assume it to be weaker. I'm not sure, but you bitches smell. You smell a hint of menthol on them. Hint of menthol, and then it smells like a lot. But I figured out a little while back that the reason they started putting cork style filters on lights, if I remember right, I may be wrong. If you if I'm wrong, just leave in the comments. Hey, you're wrong. But tell me why I'm wrong. Tell me what why they're actually making them in cork style filters. But I assume that if I read correctly, that um where men can smoke menthol, because apparently if you smoke menthol, you're a bitch. <laughs> apparently, so I guess I'm a bitch though. So, uh. It just says Marlboro in a plain gray lettering right there with two blue bands. But uh, we're, you, but back on topic, I didn't want to forget to do that. But they made them where men can smoke menthol and people think they're a full flavor. So I guess so. But how many of these bitches light? Drop up. Sorry, hang on. Kind of reminds me of a Pall Mall White in the taste. But you can taste a hint of menthol in it, just a hint. It's weak tasting menthol. I like it. It's pretty good. Now let's give this bitch a lot.
I really like this, to be honest with you. I really love that first pull that had a perfect hint of menthol. Like, I'm surprised they don't sell butter. I kind of like these, to be honest with you. Because I've never seen anybody smoke these before. Never. So. But that second drive was just a little bit rough. Just a little bit, though. But it's not like a Marlboro Gold where you have to completely break the fucker to get it to ash. This bitch will ash quick. That first drag took a lot off of it. It burns fairly quick. So, let's do a body on this bitch. Decent body for a lot. I ain't got nothing on a full flavor, but it's uh, pretty decent for a lot. And, uh, but, yeah... I don't really do a lot of research like with Nick the Smoker. Shout out to him, by the way. I heard he's getting in some serious trouble. That's probably that's probably old news, but I don't keep up stuff. Unicorn told me that a little while back, and I keep on forgetting to mention it. But I hope he pulled through all right. I really love watching his videos. And, uh, but, yeah, I really am digging this so far. I kind of like these a little bit better than Paul Malls myself. If they were cheaper, I'd buy these bitches, but they're Marlboro, you know. Marlboro country, I guess. But I really am digging this damn thing. Really. I would suggest going out and buying these. If you're a menthol guy, I would really buy these myself, personally. They're better than Marlboro Greens, because I did a review on them, and they were okay. But then again, they were already open. They could have been a week old, for all I know. I mean, I got them for nothing. So, uh, but, um, I really do like these a lot better. But I want, and I'll, I'm wanting to try to do a review on the Marlboro Blues, not the Blue Menthols, just the Blues. That's what I thought these were. But, as you can clearly see, there's Blue Menthol down there in the bottom. But these are 100s. And, oh, yeah, and it has a 100 cork style filter. I don't know, because I figured out the shorts taste different than 100s. They taste a lot different to me. I can taste the difference. Like short Paul Mall Whites, they're a lot harsher than the 100s, and they taste a hell of a lot different. Like Salem's. I want to try to do a review on Salem Green, not the Salem Ultralight Menthol, like just the Salem in the dark green box. Apparently they were a very big thing. That's what my dad, he don't, he ain't a smoker. He, he dips a little bit, but he, he was a worker. He, like, outside works, so he didn't really smoke. But whenever he does, he um, smokes Salem's, and the Salem 100s are pure garbage. I don't even want to do a review on them. They were so bad. They tasted like burnt, like burnt paper. Like, you can smell, like, if you live in Alabama, you probably know what the paper mill is. You bribe by it, kind of reeky, chemically smell. Imagine that in a taste. That's what that's what they tasted like. But the shorts, they're really good. They're expensive, though. God, Salem's more expensive than Marlboro's. With tax and all included, they're like $7 and something. They cost me as much as Newport's. But they are good, though. But they're real harsh menthol. Real harsh menthol. They're like the Newport, they're like the Newport Greens. But they don't come in a soft pack, though. But. Yeah, they, um, but these are really good. I really like these. I'm thinking about switching over to Marlboro myself, because I'm getting tired of, because uh, when you buy a cheap cigarette, is most of y'all know it tastes cheap. They let you know that that bitch is cheap. But it, um. But I know y'all been asking to do a review of my truck, but it's dark outside, so it'd be almost impossible. My truck light is not that good. And, uh, but I'm happy to show this off, guys. I got me a Bluetooth stereo thing for free, mind you. And this thing will bump. It'll fucking bump. And it floats. You can throw it, and throw it in a swimming pool or something with you, and it'll float around with you. And we're not throwing a river. Shit, you'll lose that bastard. But... It's kind of weird, though. It ain't like most cigarettes where it's pretty smooth, and then it gets harsher and harsher, but when you get closer to the bottom, it's not that bad, but when you're in the middle, it gets real harsh, but then it mellows out again. I don't understand that. It seems like that with me anyway, but it may be because uh, I've been drinking a Sprite, and I got some, my throat's not dry, so I don't know, but let's take this bitch up the nose before I run out.
Shit, let's try it one more time. A little bit rough going up the nose, but it's not near as bad as them Sonoma Reds. Sonoma Reds going up the nose were pure hell. I hated that. It almost killed me. Oh, you know, I imagine how bad I was trying not to cough, but this going up the nose is not that bad. It's not as bad as most menthols. You take most menthols up the nose, oh, hell, you'll, they'll let you know. It feels like it feels like you dump freaking Mentos down your nose or some mint extra gum, like some five gum and shoved up your nose. But... Yeah, this is just a Philip Morris product, as most y'all. You know, I'm make sure I did that right. Yeah, Philip Morris in Richmond, Richmond, Virginia. And uh, yeah, then um, these are really good. I am thinking about swapping over to Marlboros because um, they um, because I really do like a lot of their taste to them. I don't really want to do Marlboro Reds because they taste kind of trashy to me. I don't really like the taste of Marlboro Reds. But, uh, but other than that, their menthols ain't bad. Their Marlboro Greens ain't bad at all. And uh, their Marlboro Black and Reds are really good. I really like those. I want to try to do a review on the Marlboro, like, cool ice. Like, they're like Camel Crush. You crush a little bead in there. And it tastes like mangoes and shit. They sell them over there, but they're like eight, nearly ten dollars a pack. So I'm gonna have to wait till I get up some more money before I go doing that. I won't, I won't smoke them Marlboros every day. Yeah, that'd be a good every once in a while thing. But to be honest with you, I really am liking the Marlboro, these Marlboro Blue Menthols. But the next video I'm planning on doing just regular old Marlboro Blues is what I'm wanting to do. It's just, they're just Marlboro Lights. That's what I thought I was getting. But I'm kind of glad I grabbed these. I really do like these, to be honest with you. But I don't understand where I, when I bought them, I originally picked me up some Sonoma Golds, what I've been smoking on, but then I seen them, and I, you know what, I'll swap these out. And I know that they were more expensive than Sonoma Golds, but... That, uh, that lady in there, when she sold them to me, she was like, uh, she didn't say anything about them. I don't think they're selling very well, because I never see the rack empty, because, you know, cigarette racks, you know, you pull them out, they're like a drink. They're like, they're like drinks in a coda. When you pull one out, it slides one forward. I never see them move. So it's either they get a lot of shipments of those, or they just don't sell them. I don't think they sell very well, because that lady just sort of gave them to me and didn't ask me to give any more money. And I know they've got to be more in Sonoma's. Because them damn Sonomas. But then again, Sonomas are like $5.05. And that includes tax and all. So I think she just she just didn't want to have to worry about me going out there and getting changed. Because that's where I go and get my smokes. So, But, um, yeah, I really am digging these. I give the cigarette a 9 out of 10 just because if these things were cheaper, I'd be giving them a 10 out of 10. But they are kind of pricey. So, um, but yeah, cigarette prices are going out of control. I know down here it's not that bad because we still got a lot of smokers. Hell, I know that I know Governor Kay Ivey, Governor Kay Ivey, I know she smokes cigarettes. She's got to. She looks like a smoker. But either way, but I, I know up there in New York, like I was saying in a, one of our comments, up there in New York and shit places like that, I heard they'll go for it. Like New Hampshire, that's where that guy's from. I can't think of his name. It ain't dedicated smoker. It's a. I do apologize if you do watch this and I forgot your name. I'm. I'm I can barely remember my own name at the time. So I mean, shit. But I talked about vaping in my last video, and I don't understand how vaping works for you. But I won't go into detail because I've already been doing this video for like 15 minutes now. So I guess I'll go on and cut this off. This is your main man, funny guy. I said, God damn! What a rush. All right, shout out to John Travolta. If you ever watch this, leave a comment, dude, please. I'm begging you. I've been giving you shout outs, but this bitch is done. So, uh. Got my trusty Garfield 1978 McDonald's cup ashtray. So, uh, keep calm, smoke on, all that good shit. Oh, gotta do the North, gotta do the. I do the leave dog. Northside smoke shop. I do apologize. I, I I can't make my hand work very well. But that's supposed to be an end for y'all that didn't know. Because I don't want to be throwing up too many gang signs, you know. 
and I don't want somebody to get the wrong idea, but, uh, uh excuse me, but keep calm, smoke on. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye.